Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to draw, and I call this a marker line drawing. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is make an outline, um, just to tell me kind of where things are at. So I can change this outline if I keep it light. Uh, let me see here, I'm always trying to do things on the spot. So I'm gonna have a tree line here And then underneath the tree line, I'm gonna do, some of my favorite lakes have big rocks around the edges. So I'm gonna put some rocks here and I can adjust these a little bit later if I want to. So there's some rocks. Then this is gonna be my water line. And then there's gonna be more trees off in the distance, but they're kind of further away there. That line looks a little funny. So I kind of just need to know where things are. So now I've got sky, trees, trees, rocks, water. Um, I can't decide if I should put something else in the water or not. I'll think about that. But this is step one, is just getting a basic outline. Then step two, you have to start to decide what shapes or lines you can fill all this in with marker. So in the trees, I decided to make swirls. And whatever I decide to make, I'm just gonna repeat it. And I might do it with some different greens, but I just repeat, 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 swirl after swirl after swirl. So. I'll, I'll finish this up and do like the magic of TV at the end here. But I'm gonna do swirls in there. You can do any shapes or lines that repeat. Um, in the sky, I wanna do kinda almost like Vincent Van Gogh. So I'm gonna try to lay out a little bit of a pattern, but I wanna repeat swirls in the sky. And I'm just gonna put a few big ones in here just to get me started and then I'll go around them with my marker. And in the sky here, I'm gonna do a bunch of different colors. So I'm gonna grab some other blues and I'm just gonna start to stack these lines up and make them repeat. And I'll do this all throughout the sky. You can erase your pencil lines when you're done, so if you don't like how they look or where they are, don't worry about it too much. So I'm gonna fill in the sky with those swirls. Water, I'm gonna want my water to be a little different than the sky. I think I wanna make the water calm. And again, I might lay some of this out the water is probably going to be bouncing off the rocks a little bit. So I'm going to lay out my water lines kind of all horizontal squiggles. And maybe once in a while there will be something that hit the water so you've got one of those water rings. But once I kind of have an idea how I want it to look, then I can start going over my water with marker. And you don't have to get this fancy if you're doing water. You could definitely just do straight horizontal lines or regular waves. It's up to you. Rocks. I think for the rocks, I'm going to fill them in with circles. So like I'll outline the rock and then do circles within the rock like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and work this whole thing and fill the whole thing in and show you how it looks when it's done. Okay, so here's my project finished. Uh, some key things when you're doing this project 
is to make really slow, controlled shapes and lines. It's really tempting to start to try to go really fast. But if you go really fast, it almost starts to look like a scribble or just like you're coloring it in, kind of messy. But to get this effect, you want to do slow and controlled. Um, and I did my water somewhat complicated. I like to make these squiggly lines. But you could just do repeated wave lines, right? And go underneath, bump, bump, bump bump and just repeat and repeat and repeat. It doesn't have to be complex to look really cool. So you can repeat circles, triangles, just like I said, wave lines. Um, but this is a really cool way to do a landscape and it um, usually turns out pretty nice. <laughs>